I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein, and this is Rubenstein's Rules for Personal Injury. Rule number one, get an attorney. When you or a loved one have been injured by another's negligence, an experienced attorney can make a huge difference. At Rubenstein Law, we will find all of the insurance, make sure your injuries are documented, and work to get you the best result. While each case is different, a well-known insurance company's own study showed people with a lawyer on average got more money. Call Rubenstein Law at 1-800-FL-LEGAL.
Born to Ride is sponsored in part by Rubenstein Law, 1-800-FL-LEGAL, representing riders since 1988. Offices throughout Florida, 1-800-FL-LEGAL. Hi, I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein, and this is Rubenstein's Rules for Personal Injury. Rule number one, get an attorney. When you or a loved one have been injured by another's negligence, an experienced attorney can make a huge difference. At Rubenstein Law, we will find all of the insurance, make sure your injuries are documented, and work to get you the best result. While each case is different, a well-known insurance company's own study showed people with a lawyer on average got more money. Call Rubenstein Law at 1-800-FL-LEGAL. If Instagram is your thing, we're there. We're everywhere. Follow us at hashtag Born to Ride Motorcycle Media, your number one motorcycle resource. Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV, the longest running biker TV show in the world. This week, Harley Davidson history. Willie G is the man, and it's an up close personal visit with Willie G himself. All this and more here on Born to Ride. I'm Clyde. And you're watching Border Border to Ride. Ride. And cut. I've been dreaming of doing a trip through South America for years. We're here with the famous actor, Ewan McGregor. But life got in the way. And now I've decided to do the trip with my best friend, Charlie Broman. You've got to look after the relationships in your life. And if you don't, you're just, you're losing something that's very important. We'll ride 13,000 miles from the southern tip of Argentina all the way to Los Angeles. 150 miles every day is ready to go. And if that wasn't enough of a challenge, we wanted to see if we could do it on electric motorcycles. <laughs> I think it's the future electric. You'd be the first people to go this distance, charging as you go. Oh my God, it's so great, isn't it? Oh, oh, the power's just gone. <laughs> well, this is us on the road, Charlie. This is us on the way, man. I'm going to get attacked by this dog. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ride through the brutal Patagonian winter. That snow. It's amazing how cold it is. We're going to climb to the extreme heights of the Andes and experience the real risks of high altitude. Ooh, I can't breathe. I'm definitely getting sick, Charlie. Before witnessing the endangered jungles of Central America. To think about all of the things that might go wrong. I think we're lost. Is this a road? Oh, it might be a little bit. Wow, wow, I'm falling off. In the middle of the night, things just go around your brain, don't they? I have real fear. I don't want anyone to get hurt. They just roll around. I'm not going to make it. Towing somebody on a bike is dangerous. What if the bikes don't work? What if we can't charge the bikes? What if it snows tomorrow? I really enjoy the unknown of it all. Just coming across the people we come across. What's this? Amazing, the people. Learning about the cultures and seeing how people keep their traditions alive puts you in touch with yourself in the world in a way. I'm an actor. What films have you made? Did anybody see Star Wars? No. I don't think so. None of these kids have seen anything I've done. <laughs> <laughs> 
long way up to guys lost in South America. <laughs>
New roads we've waited patiently to explore. Or the familiar ones that take us home. We'll roam on its limitless landscapes and hug every bend. The road will always lead us back to exactly where we are supposed to be. We may dream of the destination. is the journey. United we will ride. Florida's newest attraction on the Nature Coast is Crystal Harley Davidson with over 65,000 square feet. Invites you to Bike Night, the second Thursday of every month, starting Thursday, January 14th, 6 to 8 p.m. Free food while it lasts. Music and entertainment by DJ Trey. Bike games, giveaways, trading your motorcycle on the spot. Full bar with drink special. Ride over with your friends. It's Bike Night at Crystal Harley Davidson, second Thursday of every month. Always ride safe and drink responsibly. Sunday, January 24th, it's the Born to Ride Mega Bash at Papa Beer Bar and Grill. This is the bar that won the Roscoe's Chili Challenge. You can check it out with free chili starting at 12 noon while it lasts. Born to Ride TV taping. FTW presents Cello Wrestling. Vendors welcome Call Joe. 10 Glass Ride and Bike Show. Sponsored by FTW. Live in concert, nationally known TV star Angie Ray. It's the Sunday of the Good Town Bike Fest. Stop in on your way to or from because you don't want to miss this party. Great food, veteran owned and operated. It's all brought to you by Rubenstein Law, representing riders since 1988. Think motorcycle, don't miss it, be there. Treasure Coast Harley Davidson presents Treasure Fest, February 5th through the 7th in Stewart, Florida. Featuring free concerts with Saving Abel and Nova Rex, the Ives Brothers Wall of Death, a tattoo expo, bike shows both Saturday and Sunday, lots of vendors, strip club choppers. See the 2021 Harley Davidson models on site. Remember, that's Treasure Fest at Treasure Coast Harley Davidson, February 5th through the 7th with free concerts. For additional information, visit treasurecoasthd.com. Why 
十三天，一千一百三十九公里，从北到南，从黑夜到白天。只为了一个简单的理由人为什么要活着？ Your is burned, Your is burned, What's up? I'm Finn, and this is Philip from the Picture Books, and you're watching Born to Ride. Motorcycles. We ride Harley Davidson, and I guess this is something that a lot of people think that way. Nobody's nobody. If you ride a Harley, you tell somebody I ride a Harley. You don't tell them I ride I ride a motorcycle. That's how 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 much a Harley gives you a feeling. You know, it's it's crazy. It's it's so crazy how much everything changes. As soon as you have a heart. Hey, I'm Finn. I'm the singer and guitarist of the Picture Books. Hey, I'm Philip. I'm the drummer of the Picture Books. Philip and I met in the local skate park of our really small hometown.、Uh, there's nothing going on in this town. There's no scene, no nothing. So、um, when Philip came in wearing a black flag shirt and I was wearing a Roxy Music shirt back then,、uh, we immediately clicked and、uh, realized we're into the same stuff: motorcycles, music. And just skateboarding. We fell in love with that that whole vibe, you know, of riding a two wheeled motorized vehicle. You know, it was the coolest thing ever. I guess it's really hard to describe the feeling when you sit on a Harley and you actually ride it. I don't think there's a word for it. I think it's a feeling that you can't put in words. You can't really put in words, but it's something you can feel, and you can let yourself go. Actually, you can just be one with your machine and just go, endless. I guess we realized real fast that you can't imitate a Harley Davidson with something that is not Harley Davidson. So we went through a bunch of bikes that were cool and a lot of fun. But knew real fast that we need a Harley. The funny thing is, I I can't weld. I I can't. I Philip, you can't weld either. Like we can't weld. We can't really actually build something from scratch. It's the same with music. We're not professional musicians. We just know what we want and we know what we don't want, and then we'll try to find a way to get there. And it was the same thing with bikes. Hey, 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 hey! Good evening. Good evening, guys. How you doing out there? It's the John and Heather Show coming to you live from our production studio, riding with this great bunch back here, Born to Ride. And speaking of Born to Ride, our guest on the show tonight is the one, the only, the owner, the CEO. The president of Born to Ride Media, Love, 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 Love. television, our boss, our dear friend Ron Galetti. 
the, the main uh, man. The man, the myth, the legend. And he'll be on here in a little bit. We're just doing a little promo, telling you who's going to be on. And also, we're going to talk a little bit about what's coming up because we've got two great big events coming up. up. We have got on Sunday coming up. You don't want to miss this. Pop a beer at the, what's it, the bar and grill. Pop a beer, bar and grill. This is going to be a great big event. Home of Roscoe's Chili too, right? This is the home of the famous winner of the Roscoe's Chili Challenge. Free chili too. And it is in Tampa at 50th Street Highway 41 in Tampa. And their phone number is 813 Six seven seven two two seven three. In case you need directions, but you don't want to miss this, they are going to have free chili from the chili champion. I'm there already just because of that. They won the Roscoe's Chili Champion this mm -hmm. this year. Also, they're going to have Jello wrestling. I love Jello wrestling. You I absolutely love Jello wrestling. And a 10 class born to ride bike show, yes. special born to ride bike show. Yes. So you don't want to miss this. We may even put Hell's Machine in the uh, And there's going to be born to ride TV taping and the John and Heather show taping. We will be down there taping everybody, getting your stories and seeing how well you like the chili. So you guys don't want to miss this. We want to have you there. We hope to see you. That's this, this coming Sunday. Sunday. And pop a beer, and we want to see you there. We're going to have a great time. We're yes. looking forward to it. So, we hope to see you. Also, we've got Cackleberry Bike Week, guys. Bike yes. Week's coming up. Again, we are going to be at the Cackleberry for our third season of uh, filming and having a good time. Um, we're going to be down there with uh, Taz himself, the master of mayhem, the MC, and we're going to be filming all the contests, everything from midget wrestling to the bikini contests. And I'll tell you right now, it's definitely going to be something because this year they're going to have the midget wrestling and oh my God, these guys are great. If you want to go look at our YouTube site, you can go on there. They're the micro apocalypto wrestlers and we saw that down in Newport Ritchie and we just had a good time doing it and they're going to be there too, along with the wall of death. They're going to be there also. And then we have the Bikini Queens are going to be there. They're all the shot girls. They're having the $1,000 Twisted Tea. Oh, my contest. God. Can you imagine that? $1,000 Twisted Tea. The giveaway on the uh, Bikini Contest. Also, as always, $2 Twisted Teas for everybody that goes there. And we have such a lineup. We are going to have Shovelhead, Straight Jacket Smile. All of those guys. No Pressure Band. Of course, Big Daddy. Yeah. And Loaded Dice, Green Tress Bros, Carolyn Dawn Patrol, Occasional Astronauts. I, I just love that name. Occasional Astronauts. I love Seed, that name. Sniper. We love you, Sniper. Yes, Easy Street and Stiff Upper Roll Lip, that. which you better have one. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to it. And in a little while, we'll have the time and the dates and everything else. Hey, hi, 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 Tammy Renee. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, beautiful sister of mine? I hope you're doing great. So glad to see you. Everybody else, come on up. Yeah, come in. Uh, bring out your comments, and we'll scroll them on the screen, and uh, we'll be able to talk to you about whatever you want. That's right. About. And we have got such a guest coming up for you. Like we said, we've got the man, the myth. The legend. That's right, Ron, Ron Galetti, Galetti himself, our boss and our dear friend. That's right. We are so excited he will be joining us mm -hmm. and telling us all about what it's like to be Ron. To be Ron Galetti and do everything he does. 25 years and he has athletic that children too. Born to Ride has been in publication. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he also a good family man too. His son is a hell of a pitcher. Yeah. He's been doing all kinds of stuff with him. He and his daughter in college. Oh, and God, yes. They, they, they're a great family. Good people. Good people. Really nice things. And everybody that works with them and for them like we do and everybody else, we're one big family. We always try to portray that too when we go out of assignment. It's always teamwork. We always try to help everybody out. 
and and that's what we do. Like Vic, you know, he's always a great guy. He's always there handing stuff out, and we're there with him. And this time at the Cackleberry, we're going to be all set up, ready to go. We're going to be filming all the events there, and we're going to be the photographers for the event and probably partial MC for some of the stuff too. Yeah, we are really us. looking forward to this, guys. And also, one let me interject here. We are also bringing a travel trailer with us, so we are also going to be filming all the after hours events in the Cackleberry Campground. That is. Uh, I don't know. Most people don't put up, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. We're going to show what happens after, after hours. hours. So you guys are going to want to see what goes on mm -hmm. at after the Cackleberry Campground after hours. And I know my fans out there love the videos because some of our videos were up to shoot. We have one of 400,000 views on slime wrestling and last uh, season slime wrestling is up like 12,000. Thank you very much guys for your support. Yeah, we love your support. Please really keep it on. It. Yes. Let us know who's watching. Mm -hmm. Talk to us. Give us your comments. Let us know what's going on because we love having you on the show. There we go. It really is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Now, what else do we have going on? Well, Cackleberry is huge. I mean, Bike Week is it, guys. Yeah. What else can you ask for? Now, mm -hmm. we don't know about Bike Week. We don't know if Main Street yeah, is yet. going to have the vendors um, or not. Yeah, according to rumor, it hasn't quite been voted on yet. No, no it has. Sorry. Okay. I didn't mean to. Okay. No. Main Street will be um, open, open. But we don't know if there's vendors. But it'll there. be partial. It'll be just like it was last year yeah, with the uh, people that have stores that are already there permanently on main street they can open and social dis and distance and everything else but right, as far like as no the, band. yeah as far as the vendors go it's up in the air so if you want vendors again go to the cackleberry because we're going to have what 100 vendors or something crazy like that there we're going to have just, he's going to have uh, every type of vendor from, see us. from clothing vendors to food vendors to, I believe he's trying to get a tattoo artist. Mm. So if anybody, if you are a good, yeah, good, good tattoo, tattoo artist. artist, and you are willing to do some really great work, get in touch with Taz at the Cackleberry. At the Cackleberry. But we uh, also they're going to have the midget wrestling. Oh yeah, so good about that. We're, we're going to have that. midget wrestling. You're going to have the new girls, the bikini the queens. queens. This is a new all, team. All dancers, are all shot girls, are all beautiful. So it's going to be great. Yeah, it's a, it's a brand new team mm -hmm. of girls. And they do uh, all sorts of things. Yeah, they're fire cool. dancers, too. They, did a, cool? they do fire breathing. They do the hula hoop, uh, sexy dance with the hula hoop and the fire breathing. Uh, they all do pole dancing. They're all shot girls. And they're all beautiful. So come down if you want some eye candy and a body shot. You know where to go. Yeah, I mean, it's something I, I enjoy. It. Hopefully, this summer I won't fall off the go go stage while filming. Yeah, that was something last year. Man, Poor I, John. Man, I'll tell you right now, that was incredible. I'm glad I handed you the camera first, though. Yeah, I, was, I wish I would have gotten see, it on I didn't, camera. See, I didn't realize that the go go stages are about five feet off the ground that have a railing ramp, the go go dancers go on, that the ladder that attaches to it is not connected. For the reason that when the girls go up there, you can pull the ladder off for a big thick neck guy there, and then nobody will mess with the girls. Well, I didn't know that, so my dumb ass is walking off the ladder backwards. Whole ladder <laughs> disconnects. I got up on my ass, ladder on top of me. Oh, it was horrible. But I got up, limped away, and kept on filming. <laughs> You'll see that. It was uh, Diesel was playing when I got up on the go go. Uh, stage, you'll see if you go look at our diesel video, you'll see it. That I wish I would have gotten it on film because let me tell you, that would have been a viral video. Oh, yeah, watching me pull off a go go stage now. I mean, come on, that would have been great. Been but great. anyway, so we were talking about our guest, Ron Galetti, and I think he's on, he's about ready to come on and talk to us. Yeah. So, uh, if you all are ready, we're ready to bring on the man, the myth, the, the legend. legend. Let us know if you're ready, Mr. Galetti. Give us a thumbs up if you're ready. All right. Okay. Uh, yes. There you are. Good evening. How you doing, bro? How's everything going, guys? Oh, everything is going fine. We just played uh, last week's episode, The Bash Up, and I love that one part with the Taiwanese people just traveling across Taiwan. I just think that is just such a heart-touching story. You know, it's um, it it almost exemplifies really what Born to Ride is about. It's um, it's a universal language of people who ride. It's the lifestyle 
And it doesn't matter what language you speak or what color you are or, or where you're from. When mm -hmm. you're riding a motorcycle, man, you can relate to that. And it's, it's, uh, as a being a producer and a creative person, um, I just knew that was a, a an awesome piece. And anybody who doesn't get that is um, they need to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> that, I mean, I almost had a tear to my eye at the end of that when the guy's holding up the poster of his friend that passed away and the other man with the picture of his wife because the Asians always have that black and white picture when somebody dies as a, as a memor memorabilia of them and holding it up to the sun like that. I just, I, damn, girl started bawling like a little girl. But it's just it's, such a great Yeah. Movie. And the cinematography, you know, the, the just the way it was shot and the acting mm -hmm. of it. And, you know, it was just um, very real. And, and like yeah. I said, man, we can all relate to that as we get older in life and we're missed out on a few things and reminiscing about our friends and family and exactly. brothers who we rode with, you know, just something like that is that's what Born to Ride's all about, man. It's about a team, about a family, yes. about being one and being united. Yeah, that's what we were mentioning before that the Born to Ride is a family. Like I said, not only are you our boss, but you're also a good friend of ours. And we really enjoy that with the Born to Ride because just the family and just the atmosphere with that whole group of people, you, your wife, and just it's wonderful. Right. Even though we're fairly new to the team, yes. we really enjoy the fact that you guys have welcomed us in with open arms. Yes. Well, you know, you guys are a big part of it and um, we are a family and, you know, we're just real with people. You know, we're no better than anybody else. We're all the same and we all put our pants on one leg at a time and tie our shoes the same way. Um, so it's it's just about people and the passion that we have. You guys have passion for what you do, and and I really really um, that inspires me to have more passion to to fuel your fire, uh, you fuel ours. You know, it's just a part of who we are. And you know, like I said, if people don't get this kind of stuff. They need to go back to the drawing board. You know, it's about just right. it's living life, man. And we we're living a lifestyle, and we're documenting a lifestyle. For right. other people to look in on, you know, there might be people watching right now that aren't even uh, bikers, don't even ride. But if, if we document it, the lifestyle in a proper way, they might say, you know, honey, let's get a motorcycle, you know, and then all of a sudden they get into this this lifestyle and it changes their lives. Exactly. Or maybe if they don't get a motorcycle, they love it and they become enthusiasts and they come to our events. Yeah. And things like that. Just for a good bunch right. of people to be around. Yeah. And, you know, um, that show, uh, Willie G, the history of uh, Willie G from Harley Davidson, uh, you know, people like that who have made motorcycling better for everyone from the AMF days, mm -hmm. or, you know, the days when, you know, when Harley Davidson started. And, you know, what, a, what an honor it is to have, be able to have Willie G on the show tonight. And, yes. you know, that's. This is episode number 1,291, man. Wow. Did I say 1,291? Woo! And the 200th edition of your magazine, too. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, it's, um, man, I mean, it's that's more than The Simpsons, man. They haven't even done that many, many <laughs> episodes of television. <laughs> Well, you, you have one of your fans saying hello to you, Ron. Violet Vixen is saying hey. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey to you. What's up? Good to hear from people. Let, let us know where you're from and, you know, maybe what you want to talk about if you have any questions or anything for the show tonight. Be, have uh, You know, feel free to, to chime in, right? That's exactly. Great. We love it comments. when people chime in. Now, what does Born to Ride have coming up? Because I know we have a lot of things that schedule. We were talking about the Papa Beer. Oh, yeah, Papa Bear. Beer is uh, this this Sunday. And, um, you know, it's going to be a great show. It's like the Born to Ride Mega Bash. It's out right on Highway 41, Tampa, right across from East Bay Speedway. And uh, we're going to have um, a bike show. Um, there's going to be free chili starting at 12 noon. And they are the wow. ones who actually won the Roscoe's Chili Challenge. Yeah. We are then, so excited about eating that. Because we missed out on the Chili Challenge, if you remember. We didn't oh, get yeah. yeah. So now at least we're going to get to have a little bit of the chili. That's right. 
Yeah, and then uh, another thing is FTW, my friend Joe the Welder, you can yeah. see his ad in Born to Ride. He is sponsoring and putting together Jello Wrestling, man. And, and you know, everybody loves Jello Wrestling. Everybody loves so, Jello Wrestling. So that should be really good. And uh, what, one, great. one thing that happened though, Angie Ray is stuck or had a commitment that happened and came up in Nashville. So they cannot make it. Their, their uh, agent called and, and let the bar know that they had a conflict. So they've replaced them with um, Handsome Devil, which is a really, really cool band. So um, right. we're still going to be rocking with a, a great band. It's going to be a great day. That's this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Don't miss it. <laughs> Woo! We can't wait. We are looking <laughs> forward to it. So yeah, nice. you know, we got a lot of stuff going on, but of course with the COVID it's it's slowed everything down. Yes. So we're not um, you know, we're not out trying to do every bike night in town and every event. We're just kind of sitting back and kind of homing in on what we do and uh, you know, we're working a lot of things out with you know, with our show uh, that was on tonight, Born to Ride Live on Facebook and it also airs on Chopper Town. Goes out to almost 2.6 uh, million followers for chopper town so we're getting a lot more views and and right. eyes on our product and, and our, our um you know our shows so people from all over the world are getting to see that and because right. of that it's uh, bringing us more national attention so you know when, when things get tough or a, a little bit hard for people you got to switch gears in life yeah. and you, you got to be a little more creative and home in on your skills and uh we have we have the backup to um, of producing television for 25 years, so we have a lot of content that the world can see, and um, so so it's it's been fun doing that and homing in with uh, editor of uh, Born to Ride magazine, Dave Nichols. You know, I had a little bit about you, Ron. Yeah. How the heck did you get started? And and I mean, 25 years of this is phenomenal. Yeah. It is just fantastic what you've done and what you've built. It's like an empire. Yeah, you know, they, a lot of people will say that, but you're only as good as your last episode, your last issue, or your last anything. So, you know, I've got to keep pushing for tomorrow, but you got to have a creative mind. You got to have discipline. You got to be uh, able to communicate with others because you count on other people to be a part of a team to produce yeah. and, and design. And uh, so it's a journey, you know, I mean, our kids grew up in it uh, in the early days. They were with us in the baby carriages and the play pens and stuff. And we had the tents up and, you know, they kind of grew up in the motorcycle world. And now they're 18 and, and 19. And, you know, and, and I think they've learned a lot of good lessons being a part of the biker community. They learned probably some of the greatest lessons in life. Um say from a guy who would give the shirt off his back to someone else who needed it more or the last dollar in your pocket or what, what else, what others, what else I really like is um, that they got to see the respect that others held for their parents. People would come up to us and thank us or, you know, say how much they appreciate what we do. And it's the little things in life that, that we've always tried to do to help others when someone was down or, you know, we're a media company. So um, I think we have a duty, um, you know, to do the right thing with it. And we have to give back to our community like so many bikers, so many of these other magazines and media companies all do. You guys do it. The bikers have big hearts. And it's our job, I think, to uh, document the lifestyle in a proper manner and lead the way uh, as big goodwill ambassadors for not only motorcycling, but for life in general that. Bikers were still breaking down the stereotypes that we bikers have always had. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm really proud to be able to do that. And and I think as long as you keep it real um, mm -hmm. to what you believe in and, and what you portray and what you produce, uh, what can people say about you other than, you know, other than positive things? And if they're saying okay. negative things about somebody, they need to look in the mirror and see who they are and or what they've done in their life. Because, um, you know, you just got to produce and stay positive. I always that, like talking. I'm sorry. I always like talking to the people at the events when we do interviews. It's just nice to see somebody so interested in being able to give back. Yeah. You know, and I just love being able to get the stories about that. 
And I know one one thing you taught us is you're as good as your content. That too. And then yeah. bringing it in and bringing the people in and showing the lifestyle and showing, like you said, having your kids grow up and seeing how you guys, how your parents are respected yeah. is phenomenal because you could preach it to them. You could tell them, listen, this is yeah. what we do. We, you know, we're, we believe in be helping like others and paying it forward. But instead of hearing it, they do saw it. it. Do it. And that's yeah, they, special. They took, yeah, they took part in it as well. And, uh, you know, they we all traveled in the van. I remember... Uh, between the front seat, we'd put a cooler there, and Deb would sit on the cooler in the middle, all the way up to Georgia or Tennessee sometimes, <laughs> and the kids would chair the other seat. You know, so you know, people don't realize the sacrifices we all make in life and business and and to do anything. But you know, the, that's why it's the business we chose. So we have to make it work. And you know, there's struggles, there's pitfalls, there's there's mountains and there's valleys, and you just got to keep doing what you do. If you believe in it, you know, there's, there's nothing but, um, you know, rewards from it. And it's the relationships we make along the way. Um, you know, some of the greatest times, some of the greatest people we've met were because of motorcycles. Well, the well, hell we've been doing it for 25 years. So, you know, we've made a lot of relationships, but when I first started born to ride, I, um, got fired from a day job that I had. And I came home and I said, damn it, Deb, I'm going to start a TV show. And she goes, what? <laughs> Deb was working, you know, for a corporate insurance company. And, and I said, yeah, I'm going to start this TV show. Cause I, you know, um, I had a, I had a, a Suzuki 750 back in high school that I rode and then I got rid of it. And then I, um, Deb got a, a bike. She had a 91 Springer. So and I got one and I was doing wrestling at the time at universal studios. And all my friends were riding on Wednesday nights. I said, man, I'm going to get me a Harley. So I got one and Deb got one. And I started saying, man, we put our bikes in this bike show. And these people are fanatical about their bikes, man. That, that lady just put $1,000 worth of bling on her bike. This guy's upset that he didn't win a trophy. And, you know, these people are fanatical. And this was in like 1995. Mm -hmm. I said, there needs to be a biker TV show, you know. Uh, came up with Born to Ride. And I... Yeah. Uh, I was at doing a wrestling show in Ybor City one night and the film crew came in from like Tampa nightlife or whatever. And I, I said, Hey man, how can I get a copy of that tape? You know, cause everybody wants a copy yeah. of the tape and their stuff that they do. And I, I, he goes, well, here's a card and it was called fast forward video. The next morning I went, I went to Tampa to this place, fast forward, video. knocked on the door and this guy came out he goes, yeah. And he was from Argentina. His name was Henry Pina. And I said, man, I want to do a biker TV show. He goes, oh, a biker show, it'll never work. I said, so I tell you what, I said, I tell you what, give me your photographer, your videographer, and we'll go to Bike Week 95. It's coming up. And um, if we get, if we're going to shoot a demo tape, and if we uh, get, get it going, you guys will be my production company. I'll hire you. And he goes, oh, okay. So um, I wanted, somehow I wanted to be at, bike week in daytona at sunrise i wanted to catch the um uh the like oh, endless yeah. summer endless yeah. summer style shot with a biker on the beach for some reason with a silhouette into the sun so we get there it's like 6 a.m the sun's just coming up and i'm going oh shoot where do we find a biker at and all of a sudden pop, 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 pop. i go ah! next thing you know we're at the beach getting the shot and you know i got that shot i wanted later on in the day we were at um, on Main Street, and I was doing interviews, and I was saying, "We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors." <laughs> didn't, even a, didn't even have a sponsor, man, but I just had that vision, you know. And the my camera guy, he was from Argentina, and he was like, "Run!" because that's a, that's incredible. You don't even have a sponsor. I go, "No, man, but we're gonna do this." <laughs> so, uh, so we got the demo done, and I started. You know, there really wasn't cell phones or really um internet yeah. wasn't happening i did get the dot com back then but it wasn't a lot of social media at all nothing so i would start faxing all the shops in tampa bay it's coming born to ride wow. and i went ahead and, i went ahead and had the logo we got a bank account we got incorporated 
So we were legit. So people could understand that I'm serious. And then with my background of being in the band Nasty Savage and marketing that, and the pro wrestling stuff, people kind of took me serious. Yeah. And uh, when the show was, when I had the demo ready to go, I started calling all these shops and they go, oh yeah, we heard about Nasty. I mean, we heard about Born to Ride. Yeah, because I faxed you all that info. Every, <laughs> every day. So, um, you know, one by one, uh -huh. uh, you know, Fletcher's Harley Davidson in, in Clearwater, Bob Fletcher and JT and, and their whole family believed in Born to Ride from the get-go. And uh, another another dealership was um, Barnes Harley Davidson of Tampa. You know, before the Furmans bought it, and uh, Ron and Ron Barnes and his brother uh, believed in Born to Ride. They took the tech tip of the week, and it's just those little things that you never forget where you come from. Yeah, and, I love uh, that that you remember everybody. And where Twenty-five you years ago, you remember these important people and their that names and what career. they've done for you. It well, we, we try to. <laughs> it's important. And, and, you know, I never forget a face. And, yeah, I, I have a, a lot of good memories. And, um, you know, you, you have to remember those things because it's you don't know where you're going unless you know where you've been, you know. And um, life's a journey, you know. But to be able to tell a story is, is a very cool thing. And that's really what I think I am mostly is a, a storyteller. I mean, we yeah. tell other people's stories and it's very interesting to, to grab someone else's passion and tell it and make it a good story that they're proud of and other people like it. And, you know, but everybody's got a story. You don't have to be a superstar. You don't have to be a celebrity. It's always cool. We've got plenty of them, but the real people I've always said, Born to Ride is about you, the people, the riders, the biker community. And I could close my eyes and spin around in a big crowd. And the first person I could go to, I could get a story because I am a storyteller. And it's yeah. about it's about who are you? Where are you from? Tell me about your bike, you know, your family, where you ride. Let's go for a ride. Let's park. Let's talk about your bike and what riding's about to you. That's a story right there. Then you tie in charities and industry and, you know, what's hot you know, destinations and things like that. you got to be creative to be a producer. You know, people want to be a, a radio yeah. guy on a show. They want to be a TV producer. They want to do a Facebook Live. They better know how to tell a story to keep people interesting. I mean, it, it's all good, but home in on your craft. If you're a painter, take painting lessons. You know, whatever you do, just try to try to do your best because you want the people who support you to get results. Yeah. And uh, ultimately, you need to get people results for what you do. And, but like, um, you know, the show that you just watched, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. That There's you know, a lot in that one. It's a mashup. There's a lot in there. And I think like getting, it must have been just the whole melting pot, what you did from getting the different clips and the different takes from the Taiwanese yeah. to the, the who Willie was the chief? Yeah, Willie G and everything else. Willie G, then you had the Star Wars guy. Mm -hmm. and all, Oh, yeah, they're driving across uh, 13,000 miles. And like, yeah, isn't that cool? Apple TV. Oh, you know? I'd love to do that. You and McGregor, that's his name. Yeah, and, and those are the things we try to find. It's different things that are a little different and not just everything so local, local, and you know you got to have some quality, and, and we could utilize things like that. Um, you know, I think I think it it helps out a lot to be able to kind of fill up some space with that stuff, but it's also good stuff to put in space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just a good story too. Yeah, yeah and, you know, Willie G. Uh, Harley Davidson Corporate has given us the, you know the 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 thumbs up to use their kind of their stuff anytime we want. We're promoting the brand, and you know it, that's a lot of respect there to be able to do things like that. And yeah. and it's cool that we get to share it with you guys to play on your cool show. Yeah, and you. Uh, you know, people out there, listen here. You know, John and Heather do a great job. These people have a lot of passion. You know, and 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 they really enjoy motorcycling. They're they're people, people. You know, people who love people and. If you see their posts on Facebook, you see what they're doing, it's real. That's why they're a part of Born to Ride, you know, and, and support the show, share it, and tell other people about it, you know, and, and support what they're doing because they're just an extension of 
they might say they're extension of Born to Rap, but they're extension of themselves. And uh, we need more people like them to go out and be goodwill ambassadors, you know, for people. And um, I think that's really important. And I got to tell you guys, we really appreciate, you know, what you're doing. But I think it's cool that you're able to play uh, the Born to Ride content so some of your viewers and, and followers can check it out. And I think it brings credibility that we work together in this manner, but it also to you guys for, for giving your viewers a different type of content. And when it comes time to doing a weekly show, it probably helps out when you don't have to edit an hour long show either. And you can use some of the content that gives you more, it gives you more time to, you know, to, to, to really get into an edit. And I think you're improving all the time with your editing, your shooting, and, and that's the greatest thing that we do is, is always want to get better and, yeah. and just tweak it here and, you know, and listen and learn. And, you know, and, you know, it's always storytelling. How do you tell a story? What makes sense? Sometimes it doesn't make sense at all. You got to go from backwards to forwards. And it's not always one, two, three, ABC. Yeah. The viewer gets what we give them. They don't know if we cut this out and moved it over here. So we have to do that to fortify our storytelling. And, and if anything I could stress is a story has an opening and an ending and a middle is that, is that me, you know, and it's really fun when you could nail that. And, and it, it's a challenge. I mean, it's like a surfer looking for the ultimate wave, man. He's never going to find it. If he, does, if he does, he's done. Or a painter, a painter looking for that ultimate wave. Lose passion for for what we do when, when we lose that passion for what we do uh i think it that's when we're done you know yeah. it's like um picasso what a what an artist he was with painting and then he did sculptures and he was always doing art and you know he was inspired by bullfighting or this and that but when he knew it was his last years and he was coming to an end he had more passion than ever before to create, uh, yeah. to create with his art. And, you know, that's what, that's, that's what I dig is never slowing down, pushing, right. pushing, pushing. And, you know, what, like getting more out of the people around you to produce, to direct, you know, to communicate. You know, um, that's what producers do. That's all they know is to produce. You know, it's like a yeah. dog on a hunt. You know, he's going to hunt. That dog's going to hunt. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna hunt. so uh so yeah that, that's kind of it 25 years uh seems like just yesterday we started yeah well it's amazing and we definitely really appreciate being part of oh, God, yes. born to ride family we, we we portray this proudly we do we, well, we appreciate that to us. well you know you guys earn your uh Earn, earn it you know because you deliver and you got that passion and if you didn't have the passion we wouldn't need to be working together you know because we want to fly with eagles so we don't have to deal with turkeys and and you guys are eagles you know and that's that's what it's about man you know you know people can learn a lot from you guys because when they're around you a lot of positive positive vibes you know and life is too short not to be positive and have a good time and if they don't get that, man, they, they're missing out. They're really missing out. So, so the people listening right now, man, you just gotta, you gotta get down with it and have fun. And uh, you know that that's what I like about it is, you guys are storytellers too, and you go out with the assignment. And you know, Heather, you're just you just get out there with the people, and and you could just like chameleon, you could just go into any situation, and and figure it out quickly. And break it down, break it down, you know, and tell that story. And but it, but remember always to get the story from the people. Let them talk. Let because when we work with the people, it's a magic. Because now we're, we're man, we're creating superstars out there, and and that's what I love because everybody's a star out there. And and the yeah. story, you know, the passion that people have. Sometimes, sometimes we gotta. Sometimes they laugh, and but sometimes they cry, you know. And and when they cry, we got to get that because that's our job to show the emotion, yes. so people get the situation we're trying to portray. 
I've had things before. They're emotional. Yeah, and, and and unfortunately, that's our job. You know, we have yeah. to. You yeah, know, it, it, it's sad sometimes. It's very sad, and it, but we have to we have to show that emotion so other people understand how mm -hmm. passionate our our um, lifestyle is and our biker community is. Some great people in this biker community doing great things for our communities and across everywhere. Uh, on a weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. It's not just at Christmas time. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You said it correct. It's all yeah. on the That's right. Un yeah. Unfortunately, is sometimes the news media will want to do the story, blood on the asphalt, hooligans on the highway, yeah, you know, this and that. But they let a, a, a hundreds of uh, charities and good deeds from bikers go, go by the wayside. So when they do get featured from time to time it's always a good thing but the bikers don't do it for recognition they do it because that's who they are and, and there's nothing like a the sound and the sight of thousands of bikes rolling by or hundreds of bikes or even a dozen bikes riding by on a great oh, car it's that positive vibration you feel from oh them. yeah it is ron thank <laughs> you much for being on our show god it's been I great mean, talking been great. with you're, you you're just a man of wisdom you really are you are in a wisdom well, I, of knowledge. Well, I appreciate it. And, and, you know, that's why I want to talk a little bit about what we do because we have it in common of being producing and, you know, getting out there and, and in the field. And sometimes people don't realize that it's not a magic dust we just throw down or like jacking the beans out the window and you wake up the next morning and there's a foot bean stock out there. It takes time, you know. And it's, it's not hard. always perfect. But there's always another show. It's like the sun's going to come up tomorrow, no matter what. So um, yeah. we're, we're just keep on keeping on, man. And thank you guys for everything you're doing. And like I said, I love to see the born to ride footage on your show. You're welcome to use it. And uh, I appreciate you guys. And we're going to see you guys this Sunday. Sunday pop -up. You guys are going to be filming and doing John and Heather show from there as well. Yes, yes, we, we are. are. We're looking forward to it. Yes, Born to Ride will be there. Papa Beer. We'll be there. there. John Heather Show. We're all going to be there. We'll be taping, telling stories, and having a great time. FTW, you will be there. Yep. And then after that, Chopper Town's just around the corner. And more and more things are happening with Chopper Town every single day. You wouldn't believe it. So, yeah, we're looking forward neat. to that. Yes, definitely. definitely awesome. All right, Ron, thank you so much for being on our show. We love having you here, and it's great telling the story of Born to Ride. We really do appreciate it. Yes, and everybody, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for everything, and please check out Born to Ride magazine. You cannot forget, this is the one, the only Born to Ride. Born to Ride. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love y'all. Yeah. Have a great one. I'll all see you right. All. Okay. All right, everybody. Well, what was, a great that show. Was Mr. Ron Galetti. He is the uh, owner, CEO, and good friend of ours, boss, whatever you want to say, but he's just a wonderful guy. Great family magazine, man. family man. Check out the subscription. It's free off the shelf. Go ahead and pick it up. That's all the upcoming events that you'd want to know about, and you can read it at any time you want. Or if you can't get it off the shelf, you can online. also buy it and have it subscribed and have it delivered to you. And you can get it online. You check out Born to Ride Online also. Go to Born to Ride Online. Check out their events that are coming up. And all their shows are on there for you. And then again, also on the John Heather Show, we also have on YouTube all the Born to Ride events, all the Jello Wrestling, and all that other stuff. Please like and subscribe. Please uh, go ahead and be a subscriber to the show. We love you all. Yes, we do. Remember, keep it shiny side up. Rubber side down. And we look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Papa Beer. That's right. Have a great one. This is. This is.